Hello everyone, Paolo Deshaun here. So I'm very excited because this week I have some awesome news that I think you are going to just love it. All right, I'll see you in a bit. So now I know you were like, okay, Paolo, you gotta tell us, what is the news? Well, the news is Google finally released the beta version of Flutter. Now you may say, okay, what is this Flutter thing? Well, Flutter is an awesome framework that allows us developers to build applications for Android and for iOS. But the cool thing is we only use one language. So for years, developers have been struggling trying to build applications for both platforms, iOS and Android. So as you know, if you're an Android developer, well, you learn Java or Kotlin and build Android apps. If you're an iOS, it used to be that you would have to learn Objective-C, which was really hard, by the way. And now you have to learn Swift, right? So if you as a developer, you're working for a company or you're working on a project and your client says, hey, I want you to build an application that will also run on Android or also run on, on iOS. So what would you do, right? You would have to learn iOS development and also learn Android development. Although it's possible, it's really cumbersome as a developer. And, and believe me when I say this, I've been there, it's not fun, right? It's a lot of work, you have to know a lot of things, right? But now with Flutter, which is this awesome framework, we can write applications that will natively, this is very important, natively run on both iOS and Android. This is great. What does that mean to us developers? Well, that means a lot of things. It means that we have another framework we can use to build cross-platforms applications. Now, this does not mean, and I repeat it, this does not mean that Java or Kotlin or Swift, those languages are going away. That's not the idea, right? It just means that we have other tools available to us to build scalable cross-platform applications. It's really good news. And on top of that, the beauty here is traditionally to create cross-platforms applications, you would have to have a framework, right? There's a few frameworks out there like React Native or Accelerator Titanium and so many others, right, that you can use to do that. But most of those, you have to rely on JavaScript and certain engines that come with JavaScript in order to build those applications that are truly native. Okay, but the beauty here is that with this new language, also by Google called Dart, we don't have to worry about any of those worries we have by using the JavaScript based frameworks. Because now, Dart as a compiled language, we are way closer to create applications that are really native and fast as opposed to having all these layers that we need in order to create actual native applications. Now, if this is not making a lot of sense, do not worry, because guess what? Another news, folks. <laughs> what I've been doing, actually, for the past week and a half when I got the news, in fact, I actually got news from one of the students about this new framework, um, I just decided that I will create a new course. Yes, a new course is coming up uh, where I will teach you the Dart language, which is the language used in the framework, the Flutter framework. But the cool thing about Dart language also is that it's not just a language you can use for Flutter to create mobile apps, cross-platform mobile apps. You can also use the Dart to create web applications, to create backend services, to create APIs, to create, to create all those different types of applications. So if you learn Dart, this is the cool part. It's not just for Flutter. It's for all other things that you can do with it. So. In my opinion, I think it's a really great new tool that we should be very excited about, okay? And as a developer, it's always important for you to be hungry, to, to wanna learn new things, because new programming languages, new frameworks are gonna pop up, and we have to position ourselves so that we are able to learn things a little bit faster and start really being involved. Okay, so going back to the awesome news, like I said, I'm actually creating this new course, and uh, which will I'll teach you Dart, and then, of course, teach you how to build iOS and Android applications using the Flutter framework. Yes, if you're excited about this, please do let me know in the description below. And uh, if you want me to at least post a couple of videos uh, to show you around Dart and Flutter, 
please leave the comments below so that I know that you're interested, right? Uh, that's very important. And uh, what else? What else? What else? Right. Um, subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, it's very easy. Subscribe. Just be part of the family because here I'm going to be putting a lot of good, good content, tips and tricks and all those things um, that will make you a well-rounded developer the best developer you can be okay so subscribe below leave the comments tell me what you think about flutter if you have heard of it tell me what you think about dart the programming language tell me anything about what we've just talked about here because i really want to hear from you and i want your comments and i want you to comment did i just say that yes i did say that comment but also subscribe oh yes also just tap on that um, reminder or notification thing that way every time I post something you are notified so you don't miss anything who would want to miss this awesomeness here <laughs> all right folks thank you so much I'll see you next time bye Never hold, never mind. Oh, I